Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's video is going to be an Old Navy Spring Haul. I went in there looking for what I was hoping to find, um, dresses. I love dresses. I live in them and now that it's warming up, I just, I just feel so pretty in a dress. And I have found some amazing affordable dresses and I'm going to try every single one of them on for you. And so you can see not only what it looks like on a hanger, but on my body. For size reference, I am five foot four and I have stumpy legs. And so a lot of these are short girl friendly, but I also have, and that's not to exclude you tall drinks of water. These are gonna look just as great on you too. In fact, I have some more like, like midi length, like fear not there is something for everyone here. So I'm gonna start off with the first one that I'm wearing. I love the fabric of this dress. And in fact, a lot of these have this particular fabric. I love the little slight sweetheart neckline. I think it adds just a little bit extra to the dress, a little extra embellishing, if you will. I was gonna tell you the fabric, but I cut out the tags because I don't like to be bothered by tags, but it feels like it's some sort of cotton blend. It's just very lightweight, definitely breathable. I love the little ruffle detail on the bottom of the dress. These straps are completely adjustable. Now you could wear a strapless bra with this if you'd like to. Otherwise, you know what, quite frankly, it's, it's tight enough through the bodice that you could skip a bra if you had wanted to as well. Throw this on with a cute cardigan or maybe one of those really long, almost to the ground like duster length cardigan. I did pick up a crocheted version of that at TJ Maxx, but I love this style dress. You can do so much with it. It's absolutely adorable with a pair of wedges, a pair of flats, throw it on with a jean jacket, a light little sweater. It's just a very versatile piece to have in your closet. So the second dress that I have is the same exact style because this comes in several different colors and I'm the stripes, oh my gosh, if you go to any retailer right now, a nice thin little pinstripe like this is everywhere from a pantsuit to a dress to just like cute little tank tops. I, I love it too because this is just also another one of those basic you know, patterns that you can take in a lot of different directions. You could add a pop of color with this. You could wear even a cute little belt underneath the bodice here. That would be kind of a great way to dress it up if you had wanted to. But I love the free flowiness of this. It's not constricting, it's breathable. As I already stated, the straps are adjustable because we're not all made the same. Um, I am a size small in both of these dresses. Before we continue with the dresses, I just want to pop in a few pairs of shoe options. The first here are by Sam Edelman. A nice flat like this is comfortable. You could wear something like this all day. You're going to be out running errands. Maybe you're doing a little sightseeing. You don't want to be bothered with a heel. Something like this would be a great option. It's dressy enough, but still can be definitely casual with the shorts too if you'd like to. This comes in lots of different colors, but this particular shade is called Saddle, and I bought a size 8 in these. I found the absolute perfect comfortable wedge. It comes in four or five different colors. I bought them initially in this black color. Let me just buckle it up here for you. And then I came home and I ordered the white because I'm like, you know what? White would take me a long ways, but so will black. You know, I think both of those colors, if you have a black or a brown um, and then a white, you're pretty much covered. These are the brand by the brand B O C and then comfort. So that's key here because this bed right here is squishy all the way up. I wore these all day, like brand new pair of shoes, wore them for I think at least eight hours. No blisters, I didn't experience any rubbing here. Um, it just, the heel is enough too. It's like, oh come on camera, I'm using my different lens here. It gives you height but you don't have a ridiculous height. And then the height isn't actually carried all the way through either, so that's what provides a little more stability is the fact that the height's only in the heel versus, you know, like a blocked wedge, which would be all the way. So I wanted to give these a shout out, I think, especially for my ladies that don't love a lot of heel but want to have that wedge effect, um, go for these. They are wonderful. And I love just the classic, uh, you know, crisscross here, just, just simple. Okay, this next dress I also purchased in a size small. When I saw this pattern, I immediately grabbed this dress. So it's a very similar style to the previous two with the exception of there being no ruffles at the bottom of this dress, but it's the same type of lightweight fabric. Now, I also forgot to mention that in the other previous two dresses, there is a lining in it, so it's not it's not see-through. Now this one does not have a lining. This one is just a single ply fabric. But you know what's great about this dress is that you can get 
like for your daughter or your niece or whatever. You can get the mini me version. So I bought my daughter this dress. It's her, her style is a little different, but it's the same exact pattern. So Old Navy has those options of mommy and me. And so we're actually gonna get uh, pictures of my daughter and me taking, taken in this dress, which is so flattering. The color is beautiful. I love this dress. I love the style. I love the pattern. Oh, it's just so carefree. And that is the kind of world I like to live in when it comes to dressing myself. Now we're going to move on to some things that are a little bit longer in length. I think these just scream Sunday afternoon picnic, family time, where to church, where to a wedding, where as a bridesmaid, if you were doing like a very just laid back situation. Oh, I love them. So once again, we have a similar material here. We have the nice little V neck, but not so low that you feel, you know, like you're showing everything you got. I like to dress modestly. And so I like that it has that V neck option without plunging down to your belly button. Uh, we have adjustable straps. There's a little bit of elastic in the back. So that provides some stretch, some give. These dresses all have the elastic around the bodice as well, so it's easy to get on and off. The bottom of this uh, white one here, oh, I love the colors in this, um, has just a slight bit of ruffling. This one does have a liner underneath, so it's not just single ply. It is not sheer, not see-through. And I just think Old Navy is hitting it on the head with, the, with these dresses. The styles this year, just easy. Take it in a million different directions. Size small is what I have in this one. So this is the same exact dress, this blue one, with the exception of it being a different pattern. There's some solid options too. So maybe you're like, Chelsea, I don't do flowers. I don't do stripes. They do have solid prints available in all of the dresses that I've shown you thus far. I just wanted to not do a solid because I think having a little pattern without like crazy pattern, but just a little something that adds interest to the dress. It adds almost like a texture element uh, to your outfit too, instead of just being solid. Now, if solid is your game, of course you can bring in, you know, texture through your accessories, whether it be, you know, like a scarf or a belt or a necklace, whatever. But I think if I want to keep my makeup or my accessories really simple, having the pattern on the dress kind of gives you that layers of texture. But this dress with the cute little ruffling on the bottom, I really like this color. It's it's basically like a blue, it's like a lavender actually. Or maybe, I think about the crayons in the crayon box and it makes me think of like cerulean, or is it powder blue or cornflower blue? Like, you know, the Crayola box of crayons. That's kind of what this color reminds me of. But once again, we have that nice V, little elastic in the back, just ugh, effortless feminine beauty. Okay, these next two, once again, are going to be uh, same style. They come in several different patterns, but I actually own these dresses. I've had them for, I think, two or three years now. Every year, Old Navy puts out this particular cut, this style, and they just change up the fabric or like the pattern. Maybe not the fabric, but like, you know, the pattern on the fabric. And so first one here is polka dots. And I love polka dots. I think polka dot is classic. I think it, there's a little element of like youthfulness a little bit with it, but at the same time, it's a very classic look because I remember my grandma having a polka dot dress. It was navy, actually it was just like this. It, I think it was navy with white polka dots and she wore it all the time. Um, I like this style too because it has the higher up neck, so if you're not one to want to show all of this, or quite frankly, if you just want to protect your chest from getting sunburned, because I know at this point, my chest is pretty sun damaged, so a cut like this protects all of this from getting the sun, but you know, it's also very elegant, and I think you could pair this with a white denim jacket or, you know, some sort of pretty lightweight little cardigan. Um, you could even tie, do like a cute white over thing and tie it so it's like cropped. Um, the length on this is really, uh, really well. That's what I almost said. It's a great length. It's not too short that you can't, um, you know, bend over at the grocery store or bend over while you're putting the groceries into your car. I think about that all the time because that's a very realistic scenario I'm in all the time. So if I can't bend over in a dress, I have no business buying it. <laughs> like what's the point? You know, nobody just stands there when they're wearing clothes, right? And so I actually wear this style 
all the time in the summer because I, you know, I go out, I wear something cute, I come home, I slip this back on and I can still do my yard work, I can cook in the kitchen. It's an easy care fabric and they're so inexpensive that if they get really yucky, I don't feel that bad because I can just go out and buy another one. And so here's the repeat of that same pattern because I knew I wanted it in a dress that was just a little bit more cutesy, something I'd definitely wear out of the house, but around the house, this, this is my comfort level. This fabric is just wonderful. Um, I, I love this pattern. It's just gorgeous. There's so many, I mean, it looks great on pictures and on camera too, right? So like you could wear a bright pink lipstick with this and oh, I just love this one. Okay, so this next dress, I didn't even try it on in the store. And I kind of wish I had because when I tried it on this morning to show you guys what it looks like on, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this. What other colors did it come in? And I couldn't remember like if this was the only color it came in or what. But this dress is work appropriate. I think this has a little bit more of a classic tailoring where it's more like a sheath style dress. And I just think that that is just it's so good. So I bought it in the beautiful royal blue with the white polka dots. There's even darting, and I tried to show you this when I tried it on, but there's darting right here. And then it once again has, you know, underneath, let's see if you can see it here, the bodice there. Maybe I'll come a little bit closer. Do you guys like this, this filming location, this camera, um, or this lens? I kind of like having, I kind of like it here. So anyways, there's the little detail. And then it has the nice darting here. It even has a hook and eye closure. A few of these have the hook and eye closure, so it looks very sleek on. There's even a little bit of, you know, pin tucking back here, so it's not like, you know, it's going to hang weird on your back. I love this dress. I just, it's so cute. It's so simple. I mean, you could do a bold necklace with this. Definitely, I'm thinking like a really bright, beautiful red lip, or even just, you know, if you're nude, your comfort zone, do that. But I just think the style it's so, it's just cute. Okay, and this last dress was, I was in the checkout line and I had looked over and I seen this sitting there and I'm like, there's something about that dress that I really like. It's not the color because this is not a color I normally wear, but I can add in color through my accessories, through my makeup, through my shoes, and I just thought this was a great starting point. So this dress is another super comfortable you know, it's got some give to it, it's got some stretch. All of these that are more structured that I've showed you, that polka dot one and this one, there's some stretch in it. So it's not like you're trying to get yourself into a pure, um, like a more restrictive fabric where it's gonna hug the places you don't want it hugging. Um, this is wonderful, it has a good amount of stretch. There's some cute little ruffle details here on the arms, not overkill ruffles, just enough. Like probably at the edge of like, the maximum amount of ruffles I would want up in this area. And then the bottom, oh, the bottom has little ruffling too. Just very simple, not like killer ruffles, you know? And then you can kind of tell in the back here, also lots of nice seaming details. It's just tailored really well for Old Navy, for like the price point. And um, size small, I bought size small in all of these things. And I think that I think they run true to size, I really do. So once again, this is, I, I think this also came in like a beautiful golden mustard color. So I thought this was a dress that would be definitely work appropriate, but you could take off your power heels or like whatever and put on a pair of flip flops and it's just like going out to dinner, you know, being comfortable on the bottom but having a cute little dress on. So that is gonna do it. I love all of these dresses. I just, I'm so happy with, you know, the fact that dresses are really in this season. I know last year I tried to find some cute summer dresses and I really struggled. I couldn't find any patterns I like, any styles that I liked. At the price point, I was willing to pay for one. Sure, I found some cute ones um, looking and browsing online in my bed, but I'm not about to pay $200 for a dress. Like, no way. I wanna pay $200 and get like this many dresses, you know what I'm saying? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Happy shopping. If you have any questions for me, feel free to answer them down below, but I will have all of these things linked as well as the shoes and the size reference. I know I didn't include price point, but if you just click on the link, you can see what the price point is. And I will I tell you all of these are $30 or less. So definitely an affordable way to get yourself some cute summer dresses. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to stick around, I would love to have you here and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.